childhood, my upbringing, um, seeing so much as a child, you know, and not understanding what you were seeing at the time. But once you get older, it all makes sense, you know rest in peace to my mother and I know she rests in an eternal peace right now but um I miss her so much I really do I miss my mother um you know she struggled with addiction pretty much her whole life you know and me as her eldest child all I wanted was her to get sober you know sometimes I beat up on myself because I would try to force her to go into treatment you know and um, she finally got sober and once she got sober her liver fell her kidneys fell everything fell and so um, It come in full circle, you know, when I check myself into treatment. <sighs> a lot of the groups and a lot of what I was learning there, you know, um, it made more sense, you know. I struggle with addiction. I was addicted to pain pills. Um, I got prescribed them in 2004 and um, I went from doing no drugs to eventually being strung out on Norcos and uh, it changed my life, you know, um, that led to me recreationally snorting powder and, um, you know, my daughter was 16 at the time and I could just remember, I could remember it so vividly. You know, um, I was in disbelief because I knew better. I knew better. I seen what drugs had did to my mother. You know, I cannot blame anybody else but myself. Even though I get that it's genetics, you know, um, but I knew better, you know, because I, I stayed away from it so long. now i had to remove certain people out of my life and i know they may be wondering like did i do something no you didn't do anything you know it's just i have to get myself together i need to heal because certain people would trigger me to think about certain stages of my life you know being abused I don't, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to talk about that right now, but um, sometimes we protect those who have done us wrong. You know, I can say that <laughs> my mother did drugs, but she never, ever, ever mistreated me. You know, I was always protected when I was with her. You know, one of her tweaks would be she didn't let men around me or my sister when she was using you know but it was somebody close to me who actually violated me and I was not in my mother's care you know but it's certain things that just remind me of being an adolescent you know and I had to learn how to heal properly I had to learn how to let go because it will destroy you I don't know why, but in the black community, it's almost like taboo to talk about your childhood, to talk about your trauma, to talk about people doing you wrong. It's crazy. It is so crazy to me. I will no longer protect anybody but my mom. And my father, because my father have never done me wrong. He did his thing too, but he has never touched me. Never, nothing, never violated me, ever. You know, he may not have been as present as he would, as he would have liked to, but 
he had a big impact on my life, you know. His family members made sure, you know, we kept his spirit alive, you know. Um, but, you know, just let go. Let go of that pain. You know, without our parents, we would not be here, you know. So you have to respect your parents. Certain things I see, you know, is disgusting, you know. I can never disrespect my mother, ever, no matter what she did. Living your truth. Forget what they have to say. You know, one thing about me as, I don't know if it has something to do with me being a Scorpio or if it just has something to do with my character, but I can never be embarrassed about something I didn't been through. If anything, I'm going to talk about it. That's what makes you unique. Like, because I'm still standing. You know what I'm saying? I'm still standing. Don't really care to talk about a certain lifestyle I lived at one point. Because ain't no way I want to glorify that. No way. Because that shit come back full circle. You know? We need to create safe spaces for our loved ones to share how they feel you know we all been through something we all have gone through some kind of trauma you know we all may not have done drugs you know or experimented with them but we all been through something you know share your story you know share your experience i can say firsthand i may not be on like Instagram, Facebook, things like that. But YouTube, like I go and watch a lot of other people videos, you know, who help me through a lot of stuff, you know, just by watching their content and sharing their stories, shedding light, awareness. Take care of yourself. It's not worth it. It really isn't worth it. It's nothing cool about overdosing. Thank my higher power that I have never overdosed. Since completing treatment, so many awesome, amazing people I've met, you know, who's no longer here because they couldn't fight the temptation no more, you know? So they overdosed or whatever the case may have be. Life is worth living. Life is worth exploring. We're all here for a reason. You know, we're all unique in our own way. We all have a story to tell. Today, I'm no longer cut off. You know, I feel like I used to wear a mask, you know, especially living a certain lifestyle. You feel like you have to be hard. You have to do certain things, you know. I'm so grateful I no longer have to do that. I could be just who I am. I want to be a happy, amazing person. I don't want to be bitter. I don't want to be mad. I don't want to be, you know, hold animosity. No, I forgive. Nobody could tell your story like you can. Take care of yourself. I pray for all the addicts who are actively out there using. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I appreciate you for watching. Take care of yourself.